And we're going to go to the 20th verse. So David rose early in the morning, left the sheep with a keeper, and took these things and wood as Jesse had commanded him. And it came to the camp as the army was going out to the fight and shooting for the battle, shouting for the battle. If Israel and the Philistines had drawn up in battle area, army against army, and David left his supplies in the hand of the supply keeper, ran to the army and came and greeted his brothers. Then as he talked with them, there was the champion, the Philistine of God, Goliath by name, coming up from the armies of the Philistine, and he spoke according to the same words. So David heard him, and all the men of Israel, when they saw him, the man fleed from him, and were dreadfully afraid. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We're going to stop right there. Amen. 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 We're going to use for a thought on a subject tonight. You are a champion for Christ. Amen. Come on, touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Touch that and say, neighbor, you are a champion for Christ. Now we're going to use for a subtopic. It should have killed me when it had me. Come on, touch that and say, neighbor, it should have killed me when it had me. Come on and put those sanctified hands together and give God some praise for that place. Come on, y'all can shout glory right there. Hallelujah. I came to encourage the young people as well as the middle age and the old. Amen. Right. Amen. At this time, we're talking about David. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Now, David was in a battle and he faced his giant, yeah. which was named Goliath. Yeah. David was brave enough to fight this man. Uh -huh. it, the other ones were a little, a little afraid, a little scared. They didn't know which way, what to do and how to do. But they sent out David yes. because they knew that David was a mighty man of God, a man that didn't fear God. Can I get a witness? Yes, he was a man after God's own heart. Am I right about it? Yes, it says, this day will deliver you to my hand. I will strike you and take your hand from you. Huh. And this day I will give you the car cases. Of the camp of the Philistines, the birds of the army, and the wild beasts of the earth. Can I get a witness? All right. And so it says that it was when the Philistine arose and came to drew near to meet David, and David hurried up and ran toward the army to meet the Philistines. All right. Then David put his hand in his bag and took out a stone. And he swung it and struck the Philistine in the forehead. Right. So the, slump, the stone sank in his forehead, fell on his face on the earth. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. I'm reading this because I feel like I should go this way. So they prevailed over the Philistine with his sling and they stoned and struck the Philistine and killed him. How many know that sometimes in our life we have to face our giants? Yeah. We might be beat on, we might be talked about, we might be lied on, we might be, be mistreated, but. It should have killed you when it had you. Can I get a witness? Amen. Come on, put your hands together and give God some praise. If I am ready to revolt, to come back, to challenge, to set a knot, can I get a witness? A champion is a comeback for another or for a cause of heirs, of heirs. One victory in the contest to fight for. Can I get a witness? Now, I believe the Bible says in the second Corinthians, the chief chapter in the fourth. Verse it says, for the weapons of our war warfare are not carnal, but are mighty in God, pulling down strongholds. Yeah. How many know that sometimes in life we got some strongholds? Oh, yeah. That we don't seem to understand we have to fight in order to make it. We have to fight in our life. Some of you are teenagers and I look on Facebook, they have having different challenges. And why are you having fire challenges? And people getting set on fire and killing one another, but... It's time to, I come to let you know that you are a champion for Christ. Because the Bible says no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. It won't, it won't work. It can't prosper. I don't care what you think. I don't care what the devil may have tried. But if you stood the test of time, you can make it with God. Can I get a witness? I come to tell somebody you can face, you can be facing some things in your life. You might have faced depression. Might have feel like a hope was gone. Might have feel like a joy was gone. But when you begin to pray, God will see him right there. Can I get a he was in the midst of your trouble, am I right about it? He was in the midst of your pain. Can I get a witness in here? Well, well, I, I come to tell you tonight that we have some people. 
The devil might have been trying to block your blessing. It might be trying to block your faith. But I come to tell you that God will be right there. Yeah. What kind of giant are your faces? You've been tempted and tried in your life. People want to see you fall. Can I get a witness? They want to see you die, but you didn't. Am I right? They done everything to destroy your mind, to destroy your integrity, to destroy your faith in God. But I, you can tell the enemy that the fight is on. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Tell somebody say the fight is on. Yeah. I won't die in the battle because I come to tell you that the battle is not yours. Yeah. That it's the Lord. Can I get a win? Yeah. Amen. Come on and put them in hands together. Give God some praise. Yeah. It seemed like you was cursed with the curse. Yeah. Am I right? You say you say so sick in your life, but seem like people picked on you, called you out your name, tried to tried to do everything they could to get rid of you, but you still had enough Jesus in you. Uh, you still had enough faith in you. Can I get a witness? Uh, you may have had hard times to forgive, but God is a forgiving God. Uh, people may have done you wrong, but if you stand a little while longer, God will see you through. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, oh my God, am I right about it? Uh, the enemy was around you. It, it could have killed you, but it didn't. I, I come to tell you tonight, but when the devil have done all you, when the devil wanna wanna block you from getting your praise on, from getting your blessing, you got to tell the devil to flee. You know what I'm about? You got to tell the devil that I am a royal priesthood. I am a royal generation. How many royal generations do we got out here? I come to tell you that you got to keep on fighting. Don't go in the tower. 